welcome to another little book shopping video so today i wanted to do a book shopping video because i woke up and it has just been the coziest fall day it is rainy today gloomy and to me i feel like the perfect fall weather is when it's rainy and gloomy i don't know why maybe it's the inner twilight lover in me i just love when it's rainy and gloomy like that the whole entire vibe of the room right now the warmness in it like i have just been feeling so cozy that i was like you know what would make this day literally perfect as if we went to barnes i wanted to do a cute little cozy kind of book shop slash book browse with me so that's what we're going to do i honestly don't have anything on my radar well i say that but i honestly want to buy the box set if they have it of the white cover of the twilight books because you guys know i've been talking about especially this fall doing a like reading twilight then watching the movie and i want to do the first one this month and i want the white covers for some reason i don't know if they have that specifically i want to get it and then also i think the second maybe it's already out or it just came out uh the one dark window the second book came out and if that's there i do want to grab that and i also just kind of want to browse around i don't think that there's a other books but we know i can always find something to buy so i think we're gonna head on out and go do some little cozy book shopping stop do you guys want to know a way that you guys can save money while you're book shopping online well I'll tell you, you can save money while book shopping online with our retailer Top Cashback. Now, I've talked about Top Cashback before on this channel. We're going to run through it again for those of you who may have missed out on it. Top Cashback is an online retailer that's going to help you guys save money while shopping. For all of my book people out there, you guys can save money at Book Outlet, Thrift Books, and Chegg. This is all by purchasing online through Top Cashback. The categories do change quite frequently on Top Cashback on what you can get money back on. What you have to do to see what's currently available for cashback is just go to the book outlet merchant page and you to see what they are offering because they change quite frequently. There's also like Sephora, Nike, Ugg. There are so many different retailers on Top Cashback that you guys can earn cash back from. They literally have over 7,000 retailers. There's no minimum for payout and they offer 100% of commission back to members. So because of this, they are constantly having higher rates than all of the other competitors out there. And one of the best parts is that you guys can get a $10 cash back sign up bonus. Plus you guys are going to get cash back upon spending your $25. So for example, going on to the cash back website, I literally have $21 in savings right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in books. So this is so I can find the book retailers or deals that may be having with books right now on top cash back. So thrift books has to up 3% cash back right now. There's up to a dollar cash back on book of the month. There's 10% cash back at St. Stephen's Books. There's 10% cash back at We Can Books. There's 10% cash back at Just Kids Books. There's 5% cash back at Book Outlet. There's 5% cash back at the Scholastic Store. That's literally all you have to do is just go through all of these different things and you can just type it in or say you want to look up Target. You can go over here and you can just see what they're offering. So they're offering 8% cash back on Optical and 2% cash back. And so that it's as easy as that to look up all of the different deals that are going on. But I'm specifically going to look up Thrift Books because I just talked about how I I want to see if I can find the Twilight white box set. So we're going to go on thrift books. And also when you click on it, you can see the offers that they're having right now. So there's 3% on new customer purchases and 2% on existing customer purchases. So, and there's also some different deals and coupons right here. So all you have to do is click get cash back now. And then it takes you to the website. And all you have to do is make the purchase on the website to get your cash back. So for example, I looked up Twilight and I would just be looking through all of these different things. So so if I just want to add it to cart, I would just say add to cart. Then I would go to my view cart and I would check out. And as soon as I check out, I would just go back to my top cash back. It can take around 48 hours for you to see. But once you go to your account, you can click right here and go to earnings. And you can see exactly how much cash back that you got when you go here. And you can see all of your earnings pop up right here after you have made the purchase. And it is as easy as that to save money and get money back when you are shopping online with topcashback.com. So don't forget that you guys can click the link down in my description to get a $10 signing bonus and, and you guys can get cash back upon spending $25. Thank you so much to Top Cashback for sponsoring today's video and let's get into some book shopping. <music> recording in the middle of the street. The 
one duck that I came here for. I'm not sure what they have. We also have the whole entire like ballet going on in back from the barns trip that was a lot more successful than I thought it was going to be. So obviously we're, we are going to do a little haul of what I bought today at barns today. I just really wanted to like go to barn. It was very like cozy in there. It was rainy and like they were playing like classical music. I just felt like it was the full on like so cozy type of vibe. I'm actually going to show you guys what I got from barns and then after that I'm going to give you guys a little collective haul of other books that I've been buying whether they are for videos or just like physical copies or like stuff that I've gotten sent. So let's do a little collective haul of what books I've been getting. First of all, let's talk about the books that I bought from Barnes that are just like different copies of books that I already have because I swear before like, well, actually it's <laughs> my whole entire life. I've been a reader, but I never understood the whole entire like getting multiple copies of the same book. Like I never understood it. But once you understand, you understand like it's a collector's piece. So I actually got this, like the regular hardcover of The Battle of Never After. I literally have the Barnes special edition, um, the UK paperback, Once Upon a Broken Heart. I also bought the Barnes edition and the regular hardcover for the next book. And so I needed to get the regular hardcover. Basically, I have all of the same covers. I just didn't have this cover. This was the cover I was missing for all of them. So every single Barnes I've been going to didn't have this. And so today they only had one. They only had one. So I took that as my sign because that's my version of girl math is when they have one of the books that I'm like looking for and say that they have just one book of the whole entire series, I need it. So then I need it. Okay, also weirdly enough, I picked up The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes because I'm pretty sure this movie comes out in November, if I'm not mistaken. And I do have the hardback of this book and literally, why is this so unenjoyable? Not like the actual book, but I'm talking about like me trying to read the hardcover of The Hunger Games because to me, in my brain, my brain, paperback, Hunger Games. So when I was trying to read the hardcover of the book, it just wasn't working for me. And when I saw that this was like a Barnes exclusive edition and it's the purple, I just thought, okay, I'll pick it up. This one's actually really fun. So this is The Inheritance Games. Now you guys may be like, cool. So you rebought the Inheritance Games. Look at these sprayed edges. Literally, I was looking at the table. I like passed the table so many times and I looked at my mom and I was like, oh, wait it has sprayed edges and it's beautiful like that that's like a literal work of art and it is so thick like look at the foliage on the inside of this like like this book feels heavy oh it's like so simple i love that i almost want to like take this off like display it like this like that is i really really like that so that is just beautiful beautiful and i love the inheritance games next up we have these three books now these are all in the same like series and you want to know what's so funny because let's talk about how when i was a reader my whole entire life i just kind of like would go to barnes and read books like i didn't really like think too much into it and then when i got into like the book community like book talk book tube i started realizing what like companion novel series were but before i really did learn that i read this book on libby so i remember reading this book and i really liked it and then i remember reading this book and i was like oh wait it's like in the same series it just follows like different people girl did not 17 year old me did not know what companion novels meant so my mind was blown when i first read this series and then i was like wait 
oh my gosh and then i started to learn you know like this is like a regular thing but it's just so funny because i feel like this series holds like such a special place in my heart because of that and so i've never owned these books because i read them on libby and every single time that i go to barnes i always look at them and i'm like oh wow i really enjoyed those and today i don't know what it was i was just like if you enjoyed them like why not have a physical copy of them so i got the bro the bromance book club which is the first book and then we got undercover bromance and then i never continued on with the series i think it was because like they didn't have the third book available and so I went and bought the third book. This is Crazy Stupid Bromance. And if you guys didn't know, like if you guys have never heard of the series, listen. They're so sweet. So basically it's about like a group of guys and they have their like romance book club. And what it is is that they all pick like a romance book that they all read to understand the women in their life better. Like their wives, their girlfriends. And like whenever the guys in the book like have like a hard time or they're having trouble, they all band together and read these romance books and help their guy out. And they're like, well, this is what happened in the romance book. Maybe you should take like some tips from the romance book. I'm sorry, what? I'm so, I loved this one because I'm pretty sure in this one, it's like they're married, but they're like their marriage is in like trouble. Like they're having troubles in their marriage. And he literally is like trying to do anything to fix his marriage. And he, I think this is when they like start the romance book club, if I can remember correctly. And he starts reading romance books so that he can understand like his wife better and what she like wants and stuff. But start making this the bare minimum please. I don't know. These are just like no brain power, such sweet books. I honestly should have bought the other book, but I didn't. But this one, I honestly will probably read sometime soon because I just remember absolutely really loving these books and they're just a good time. Okay. Next up, I got this book, which I actually, oh no, it's a receipt. Okay. So this is better hate than never. I've known each other since childhood. I'm pretty sure they've been neighbors and then they always kind of have like resented each other. Like they kind of like don't get along. And it's because, but then one night she like drunkenly confesses to him that it's because she has always acted like because she thinks that he doesn't like her. So then he is like bound and determined to show her that he really does like her. And he's always like held and harbored feelings for her. And just like the cover of this was screaming fall vibes to me. And I feel like this is just like a cozy little romance. Next up we have What You Wish For by Catherine Center. And listen, I read The Bodyguard and what was her new book called? I read her new book like two months ago and I didn't know that she had like a backlist but then Bestie Haley was talking one day in her videos because she really likes her books about how she has a backlist and now all of a sudden I swear I was not seeing any of her books. Maybe it's because they maybe they've just always been in the fiction section and I didn't really like it didn't commute my brain but ever since Bestie Haley said this I now see her books all the time. I go to Target and now they're like sitting in the Target section and I know that they weren't there. Or I don't know if like the hype from the bodyguard um, got her backlist out there because I don't know, but I have now been seeing her backlist. So I just saw this one and I thought it was kind of cute because it's like about a school librarian and the principal, like the new principal of the school who she has history with. They knew each other in high school. But I do enjoy Catherine Center's writing and the way that she does her romances. So I do kind of want to start getting into her backlist and seeing if they hit the same as her other books do. And since those are in fiction, because I think one of the things I always say about Catherine Center's books or that I did about her last one at least is that it's catered as like a romance but it feels more like a women's fiction book or just like a fiction book but these her books are always in the fiction section so i'm not expecting like a huge romance plot even though there is romance plot but i'm expecting now that more of the fiction plot line don't know why i was doing this okay i think this is the last book that we got from barnes we have cassandra claire's sword catcher and i was actually not going to buy this book until it came out in paperback because i'm annoying okay but the thing is, is that when it says this, the Barnes & Noble exclusives, I don't know why I've been paying so much attention to that lately. Like if it says Barnes & Noble exclusive, I'm like, need. Do you wanna know why? I was thinking the other day about how I never bought the plain black Barnes & Noble exclusive edition of A Court of Silver Flames. And I like would go into Barnes all the time last year and look at it and look at it and look at it. And I just like back then, even back then, I didn't really like, like go into like buying like, several copies of the same book i just kind of was like nah, whatever now i wish i would have got it i wish i would have got it and just like i'm so happy that i bought the once upon a broken heart and ballad of never after barnes and noble exclusive edition now whenever it says barnes and noble exclusive and it's a book that i want 
picking it up and buying it. So I got this because Rachel Catherine, I think she got the ARC for this and it's out now, obviously. She read it and I think that she enjoyed it. If I'm not mistaken, she read it pretty well. With Cassandra Clare's books, you can't really just like pick up one of her books and read them. They're like all a part of a series. So with this one, it's nice because if I want to pick up a Cassandra Clare book, but I'm like intimidated by how all of the other books are kind of interconnected in all of her series, this one's more of a like you can pick it up and just read a Cassandra Clare book if you know what I mean. Okay, so those are all the books that I bought from Bard. A little bit of a collective haul. Is this better? Okay, or is this light in it? Whatever. I ordered some books, and so I was reading Caught Up. I actually finished that today, and I just really... You no, know, there is no joy and no feeling quite like when you are reading a book like on your Kindle and you don't have a physical copy and then you realize like how much you're liking it and you just like go and order it and then it shows up at your doorstep. There is no feeling quite like it. There is just none. So I wanted the physical copy of Caught Up because I also have like a physical copy of all the other books in the series. So we have this. We also have all of these. Okay. So we also have Hopeless. This is the last book in the Chestnut Spring series. I actually already read this as well, but of course I need the physical copy of them because I own all of the mirror covers. That's what these are called, which actually I don't think you can buy the mirror covers for, I think at least the first two books are no longer sold with the mirror covers. You have to get like the new covers, but if you guys have the mirror covers for all the rest of them and you don't have a mirror cover for this, I would say go run and do it because it's for a limited time, I'm pretty sure, but I kind of want to get the other covers too just because I do this is like a five star series for me I do really really love this series and so of course I just had to order this and own all of them oh same with the Catherine Center this is how to walk away I actually ordered this for a video but then that changed up just you guys don't know okay this uh, maybe I'll tell you guys once it's like behind the scenes but I did I still do want to read this I think this is about a woman who gets in like an airplane accident and she's kind of like in the hospital recovering and it's about that um but this one i actually ordered and it's a fairly short book do you want so funny does this ever happen to anybody else like you'll order a book on like amazon or something right and you've never seen it inside of a barnes then all of a sudden you go to barnes and it's looking you straight in the face and you're like are you out to get me this is the storied life of a j Fickery, and this is by Gabrielle Zevin, who is the author of Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow. And I really like that book. This has a purpose, you guys will see soon. And then we also got Funny Feelings by Tara DeWitt, which this one, this confused me because when I ordered it, I could have sworn I've seen people with the paperback, right? Friends, mutuals that I've seen with the paperback. And then when I went to order this, like a few weeks ago, it was like pre order, and I was like, pre-order this book has been out like I can read this book right now on Kindle Unlimited what do you mean pre-order and it's not because like oh you have to pre-order the paperback this didn't come out in hardback so I really don't know what that was all about but it's still here nonetheless so I don't even know why I brought that up last but certainly not least we have Fear the Flames um if you guys know me if you guys like uh if you guys happen to watch my videos, you may know that I am a sucker, a literal sucker, that's what you would call me, for the videos on TikTok that are like just like a carousel and it'll be like fantasy and this girl's holding this book and it was like this scene or what the kind of whatever where it's like he's been looking for her his whole entire life or something and literally didn't have to say anything else i'm i'm there babe it's already in my cart literally already coming it's literally already shipped as soon as i already shipped already bought actually literally are you kidding? So that's what th that happened with me with this. This is, again, he, the whole entire reason I bought it was because someone had fan art in the TikTok. And it was like, he's been searching for her his whole entire life because he like lost track of her when they were kids or something. And what? And I bought it. I've been buying a lot of, I feel like, indie authors in the fantasy realm because like they all have these, like the very matte cover, you know what I mean? So I usually read them on Kindle. And then just own the book because of course and you know what though sometimes it's a great feeling to own the indie version that's what i call these the indie version of the book where it's like you know the matte non-floppy because then when they get picked up by a publisher and it gets turned into like super floppy like regular book material you can say you've been here since day one you're like oh really well i happen to have the indie cover Mm -hmm. i happen to have this version which means that i have been here since the very beginning 
so it's like I, I it's like a badge of honor to me so thank you so much for that but that is the little haul little collective haul hope you guys enjoyed i thought that today would be a perfect day to do this little cozy bookshop with me so if you guys enjoyed you guys know what to do like comment subscribe all the youtube stuff you guys know how to do and again thank you so much to top cashback for sponsoring today's video don't forget to visit the link in my description and with all of that being said i will see you guys when i see you peace